Our first objective is to recognize the difference of two squares. Second, discover the pattern in factoring the difference of two squares. And third, factor completely the difference of two squares. Hi everyone! So, ang topic naman natin for today is how to factor difference of two squares. Before that, recall ulit tayo muna. Find the square roots of the following. So, have the square root of 4, that is 2. The square root of 49 is 7. The square root of x squared, kung titignan ninyo, even number ang exponent. Meaning, divisible by 2. So, pwede yan. Perfect square yan. So, di-divide nyo lang yon sa 2 to extract the, uh, the square root. So, x squared, the square root of x squared, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, 1 na lang ang exponent. Hindi natin susulat. Next, we have the square root of 36 x to the 4th. This is a perfect square. x to the 4th is also a perfect square. Since yung 4 is an even number, so, the square root of 36 is 6. The square root of x to the 4th, 4 divided by 2 is x squared. Last, we have m squared and n to the 6th. So, even numbers din pareho yan, 2 and 6. So, divide lang natin sa 2. m divided by 2 is m. Uh, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, may m na lang tayo dyan. And then, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, n cubed. For our review, we need to multiply these factors. We have this, uh, the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. So, ano yung ginagamit nating method in multiplying these two binomials? We use the FOIL method. Dito ko na lang naglagay. FOIL method. Wherein F stands for the first terms, O stands for outer terms, I is for the inner terms, and L is for the last terms. Okay, so multiply the first terms. x times x is x squared. Outer terms, we have x times negative y is negative xy. Inner terms, we have positive y times positive x is positive xy. Pwede rin naman yx, but ako kasi ginagamit, ginagawa ko kung alin yung una sa alphabet para mas ayos. At saka mamaya kasi, mas makikita ninyo kung bakit. And then, we have a negative, positive y times the last terms. Positive y times the negative y. Negative y squared. Okay, we need to simplify this. So, kung ito, kitang-kita, na meron tayong like terms. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Kaya inaayos ko na siya. Pareho-pareho sila. Pareho-pareho pati exponents nila na tigisa lang. They only differ, they differ in signs. Isang negative, isang positive. So, para ko lang na ganun yan, kung ang numerical coefficient yan actually is negative 1, dito ay positive 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So, cancel na yan. 0 na yan. So, ano na lang ang natira? x squared and then y squared. Ito medyo marami nagkakamali kung ano yung sign ni. Kung ano yung sign bago siya dumating, yung variable o kung ano man yun, yun yung sign niya. This is negative. So, minus y squared. So, this is the product. Next, we have m squared times m squared, the first term, is equal to the m to the fourth, outer terms, m times n, plus mn, inner terms, negative n times m, is minus mn, and then the last terms, negative n times positive n, is negative n squared. Combine the like terms, we have mn here and mn, negative mn. So, pareho lang sila ng variables, pareho ng exponents. Magkaiba lang ng sign. So, cancel na yan, zero na yan. So, ano natira sa atin? We are left with m to the fourth minus n squared. Okay. So, ang tawag dito sa product na to is difference of two squares or yung ginagamit natin na dots para mas madaling tandaan difference of two squares okay, so ganito ngayon ang mangyayari ito ngayon yung given ko ito yung ngayon magiging given natin ibibigay ninyo ngayon yung factors nila kasi nga sabi nga natin factoring is the reverse process of multiplication so ito yung given natin hahanapin nyo yung factors ano ba nangyari dito? Kung mapapansin ninyo, dun sa first term, nung final answer natin, 
ng product natin, this is, uh, the square root ng first term dito, ay nandito sa first terms ng dalawang binomials, ng dalawang factors. And then, yung uh, square root ng last term, eto naman, nandito naman sa last term, so dalawang factors natin. And then, yung signs lang nila, isang positive, isang negative. Pagdating dito, ganun din. Yung square root nito, m to the fourth, the square root of m to the fourth is m squared. So, eto siya. And then, the square root of n squared is n. Ayun, sa last term, sa dalawang factors natin. This is minus sign. Isang negative sign dito, isang positive sign. So, ngayon, meron tayong rule or uh, formula. Okay, so, ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-factor. Factor na tayo. So, ang unang-una yun yung tingnan, tip lang. Tingnan nyo muna kung meron silang common factor, yung bawat terms. Pag meron silang common factor, yun muna gamitin nyo, factoring GCMF, yung ginawa natin dati. Pag wala, proceed na kayo dun sa other factoring technique na kailangan depende sa special products na, na, na given. So ito, in this case, difference of two squares yan, kasi wala naman silang common factor. This is A, this is B, so wala silang common factor. Perfect square, perfect square, you have minus sign. So, difference of two squares. So, ano yung uh, formula na sinabi natin kanina? Meron tayong dalawang binomials agad. Agad. Isang positive, isang negative. Kung gusto ninyong negative dito una, dito positive, walang problema. Kung saan kayo madadali, kung saan kayo masaya, doon kayo. Now, get the square root. Extract the square root of the first term. What is the square root of a squared? The square root of a squared is a. Lagi ko na rin dito. The square root of b squared is b. These are the factors. So, in number 2, we have a squared, b squared minus c to the fourth. Wala silang common factor. Let us see if there are a uh, difference of two squares. If it is a difference of two squares, a squared, b squared is a perfect square. c to the fourth is also a perfect square. And then, meron tayong minus sign doon. So, pasok sa banga. So, pwede natin gamitin yung factoring technique na to. Na dalawang binomials. Uh, so, inahin naman natin yung minus sign at saka yung saka pala plus sign. Okay, so the square root of a squared b squared is ab. The square root of c to the fourth is c squared. And then, copyin ko na lang to. Done. Tapos na. Next, uh, wala silang common factor. So, proceed tayo. Factoring technique. Sa ibang factoring technique. Perfect square, perfect square, perfect square. Okay, so factorable yan. So, dalawang binomials, positive, negative. So, the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of y to the 6 is y cubed. And then, kopya. Ganun lang siya kadali. Number 4, we have 2d squared minus 18e squared. So, meron ba siyang common factor? Yes, meron. Meron tayong 2 as a common factor. So, labas muna natin yan. Gamitin natin yung ginawa. Natutunan ninyo last time. So, 2 is the common factor. Labas na natin yan. And then, we will divide this term dun sa common factor natin. So, 2 d squared divided by 2 is d squared minus 18 e squared divided by 2 is 9 e squared. Okay. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Tingnan nyo muna pa rin kung factorable pa ba ito. Pagka nakita nyo hindi na siya factorable, saka pa na kayo tumigil. Pero hanggat may mapipiga kayo, hanggat may mapafactor kayo, tuloy-tuloy lang. Factor lang kayo ng factor. So, tingnan niyo yun nandito sa loob ng grouping symbols natin. We have d squared minus 9e squared. d squared is a perfect square. 9e squared is also a perfect square. And then, minus sign na nandito. So, difference of two squares to. Factorable to. So, hindi tayo itigil. Pa-factor na natin yan. Pero, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung 2. Lagay nyo pa rin yung 2 doon. Kasali pa rin siya dyan. Hindi siya pwede maiwan. Okay. So, factors nito, dalawa. Isang positive, isang negative. Okay. The square root of d squared is d. The square root of 9e squared is 3e. And then, kopya. Okay, factorable pa ba? Hindi na. So, okay na yan. Okay. So, for our practice, so, kuha ulit kayo ng ballpen, ng notebook, ay 
may piece of paper. Kopihin niyo muna to, tapos saka tayo magsagot sabay-sabay. Okay, pwede niyo post niyo muna yan. Okay, so facts are the following. N squared minus P squared, try natin na matulin ha. So, dalawang factors yan. Kasi perfect square, perfect square, this is minus sign. Wala silang common factor. So, the square root of N squared is N. Nagyan ko na dito plus minus. The square root of P squared is P. Next, we have no common factor. So, perfect square ba to? Perfect square. This is also perfect square. Minus sign. So, difference of two squares. So, meron tayong dalawang binomials. Isang positive, isang negative. So, the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x to the 4th is x squared. The square root of y squared is y. The square root of c squared is z. And then, copy 2x squared, y minus z. Okay. Last, we have number 3. Fractions yan. Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit ayaw ng ibang sudyante sa fractions. But actually, pareho lang naman yun. Ganun lang naman yun. <laughs> You're just the same. Okay, we have 4 over 9, m squared minus 9 over 16. So, kung titingnan, wala silang common factor. This is a perfect square. Perfect square, perfect square, perfect square. Perfect square in first term. 9 and 16 are perfect squares. So, difference of 2 squares to. So, factorable yan. So, meron tayong dalawang binomials. Square root of 4 over 9 is 2 thirds m. 4 over 9 m squared. The square root of 4 over 9 m squared is 2 thirds m. Minus naman. The square root of 9 over 16 is 3 fourths. Then copy. 2 thirds m plus 3 fourths. square, perfect square. They don't have a common factor. It's difference of two squares. Plus, minus. The square root of x squared is x. Square root of 36 is 6. So, x and 6. Next. Perfect square, perfect square. square uh, square root of the first term is c, d squared minus the square root of the last term is e, f. And then, copy. CD squared plus EF. Last, we have 49H squared minus 1. Perfect square, 1 is also perfect square. So, difference of 2 squares yan. Square root of 49H squared is 7H minus the square root of 1 is 1. So, 7H plus 1. Now, I want you to challenge yourself. So, mayroon ako ibibigay dito isa lang. Kahit isa lang, uh, gawin ninyo, i-post ninyo yung video, tapos sagutan ninyo, and then tingnan ninyo kung okay yung sagot ninyo kung tama. Okay? Let us see if our answer is correct. So, we have 4x cubed minus 4xy squared. Kita-kita, meron tayong common factor. Uh, Dabas muna natin yung common factor. The common factor is 4 at saka is x. What is the least exponent? 1. So, isang x lang. So, yun ang nakalabas natin. Yun yung common factor natin. Divide na tayo. 4x cubed divided by 4x. May matitira tayo x squared. This is minus sign. Since positive to, kaya minus sign lang yan. Okay. Tingnan nyo muna rin ha, kung positive nga ito ha. May iba kasi yung story kapag negative to. But since this is positive, safe na safe naman, nakopyahin lang natin yung sign dito. Hindi laging kinokopya lang ha. Okay, para lang malinaw. So, 4xy squared divided by 4x. 4xy squared divided by 4x. Ito wala na eh. 1 na lang yan. 1. Ito may matitirang y squared. Okay. And then, tingnan natin yung nasa loob ng grouping symbols. Factorable ba? This is x squared minus y squared. Kitang-kita that this is factorable. 
So, pwede pa yan. So, copyahin ulit yung 4x. This is difference of two squares. Dalawang binomials yun. Isang positive, isang negative. x squared, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of y squared is y. Ayan. Thank you.